can't hey guys see. it's okay you get used to it just you know hey guys so today i have a really cool video for you guys so cade my boyfriend is here and we're going to be cade <laughs> what's wrong with you today i'm going to be showing you how i take my pictures by myself what i do to take all my content for instagram basically i'm going to show you how i edit them how i take them everything basically be your own instagram boyfriend sorry cade and okay. Cade's gonna be here, and he's gonna be filming me while I try to take these pictures. Today I am in oh, Old Town Scottsdale, I think, and we're gonna take some pictures out here. It's really hot today, actually. So I, what I want to do today is do more not so posy pictures. I want to do more natural. So the hard thing with doing that by yourself is that like you have to get a really natural phone setup area. So then um, I'll show you guys how I'm gonna do that. Let's go find a spot. So. Right now, we found this little garden thing. I do not know if I want to do it here, though, because it looks too set. Okay, I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do. Kind of yeah. found this cute little area. Okay, we're not going that way. <laughs> it's a screen. Okay, so I use this app that's called Lens Buddy. It went viral on TikTok. I bet you know what it is. So you just literally press a timer. I kind of like the green in this wall, so that's where I'm going to take pictures here. Once you start taking pictures, kind of like understand your angles and what you look where you look best and what angles would look best with like certain pictures and certain poses so this one I'm sitting on like this thing so I have to make sure I get the best angle for my body that makes sense no it makes no sense okay so I'm kidding it does oh, okay <laughs> and since the light is coming from this way I want to make sure that the sun that I'm not looking this way because then my face will be shadowed so I think those are great pictures I'm gonna do some like reaching pictures so with my foot like this it'll give it more like a 3d effect and make the pic picture look more three-dimensional and like more appealing to the eye no like two seconds the second thing is is like looking into the sun is like really painful well actually really good is it yeah Okay, yeah, I'm, now we're I'm... gonna review these pictures on lens buddy it keeps all of your pictures on the app itself and then you get to look through them and only keep the ones that you actually like oh my god i had this in my pocket you need to tell me. you're supposed to make it more natural so that's more natural with keys so a lot of these the lighting now that like you took your first couple of like trial pictures you can see like how the lighting is and how your body works in this kind of space. Wallet in my pocket is not what I wanted, so. And a lot of my arms being out is covering like the lighting over my body, so I have to be careful with that. So like trialing your poses and stuff to make sure that you can exactly what you want in the in your pictures. Okay, so we're gonna do one more round. I actually really like that. Round two. I'm so screen recording, so now you'll be able to see from my phone how, how it's looking. Wait, there's a cactus next to you. <laughs> I hate you. Maybe you shouldn't take them there. Hmm. Oops. Like what? So one really, like, if you're, like, worried about, like, your stomach area and you're sitting, I would suggest, like, sitting at the very edge of the little plank thing so that you're not getting as much fold. So it's kind of like, you kind of, after taking a lot of pain, but those are some of my tips. Tips and tricks. A lot of, like, also, what's pleasing to the eye is a lot of, like, pointing of the toe, so I would suggest that. And if you want to do that, like, covering your face from the sun, the problem with doing that is, like, now you're facing shadows, so you have to, like, pretend like you are, but not actually blocking it. One other one that I did the other day, you can go check out my Instagram, I posted a picture where I'm, like, reaching for the camera, and those are, like, really good movement movements as well. Oh, I can use the standing one. Yeah, go ahead. You got all the time in the world. I think I got some good ones. Okay. That'll be it for now. I think you got it down. Just post it. It's rolling. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm practicing this TikTok for, you know, the content. Make sure you're posting TikToks every single day. But I am going to do the sound. It's trending right now. On this sound, it only has 68,000 videos. And... None of them are this dance, so I'm gonna be doing this video because it's gonna be trending, I think. I am not that good at this dance yet, so let's see. Three.
Okay, Let's try. I'm out here in like the cack lawn. I don't know. But I'm gonna finish my video out here because I wanna show you how I edit my pictures. So I'm gonna go into my lens, buddy. I'm gonna check out these pictures. I cut, some of them kind of turned out funny because I was talking at the same time I was doing them. And so now I just literally go through the app and I do a thumbs down and thumbs up. I don't know if I completely liked how these pictures turned out. The lighting was a little weird, like it was up and that's why people tend to take pictures at like sunset, but uh, it's super school Sunday, so we had to go a little bit earlier. Some of these are pretty good though, because uh, when there's like super shadows, I can definitely fix the lighting so the shadows aren't that bad. If they have potential, I will put yes, and then I'll go through them like and determine if they don't. So, see, I was like, these leg kicking ones really did very good. These are the ones where I had my wallet in my pocket, so I don't know if I really like them, but I'm still gonna use them as contenders. But like, out of like all these pictures, I'll probably get a good seven or eight, which is a pretty high ratio, I think. Yeah. So now I just put my thumbs up, my thumbs down, and then I select all, and I'll just delete them. And then on my thumbs up, I'll come in here and I'll go through them again. And then between like poses, I'll choose which one I like better. So I like the other one better, so I'll delete this one. Okay, so I got like a pretty good amount of them. So I'll select all of these, and I'm gonna move them into my camera roll. So I can edit them. And I have actually a lot of pictures from like the same content. Then we'll just delete them all from my lens buddy. So I don't have to keep storage in there. So guys, the next day, yes. But I didn't forget about this video. Do not worry, I did not forget. I was just planning out my feed. So after you get, go into Lens Buddy, so here's my Lens Buddy, and I have all these pictures recently deleted, right? So I have all these good ones. Oh. So then after I saved all of the pictures that I like, as you can see right here, then I just went into Visco and I saved all of them. And I tried to use a consistent theme. You just use the same kind of filter and you make sure that you keep it whatever theme i am currently remodeling my instagram i want to go for a natural theme because i know that's more liked on instagram so here are some of the photos these are already edited and these are not edited yet so i'm gonna take you into the ones that i took yesterday and i think my favorite photo was this from this was this one and the laughing one but we're gonna do this one first so i just literally take this picture and i go into my and i have the free version of everything i'm not about to pay for this when i don't need to so um i just deleted my last preset and i and you can save one so i went and fixed one of the pictures to how i liked it and then you just go and save it to your saved presets basically and then you go in here and you tap in all of them and then it just applies everything so here i'm going to show you my settings i have exposure one contrast negative 1.2 shadows plus 2.7, 2.7, highlights plus 7, temperature point, negative 0 0.05, saturation 0 0.05, skin tone plus 3.4, that's because I have the tone pink a little bit so I want, I don't want my skin tone to be pink, and then I have the clarity at plus 0.8 and then grain at plus 1. This is kind of how I like my pictures, it has kind of like a film over it so that it's more, I kind of like it when it's more muted, but then the colors kind of pop out at the same time, I don't know, I, I've always liked my pictures like this but um you, and then you from here you can this is how all my other pictures look so you just adjust it to how you want it to look like um for each picture so next i just want to go ahead and save this into my camera roll and let's say like one of these right so these are some pictures that i took the day before and i think my favorite is like this one and this one one of my literal things that i hate the most is the building in the back turned pink when i had my last when i had my last filter on it and then that really made me angry and then I tried to whiten it and it didn't work so that's why I kind of changed my that's why I kind of changed my theme so that it was more I already have everything applied as you can see it's the same thing that's why I changed my filters so then after that I just go into airbrush and then I fix any of my imperfections this app is also free so if I have anything that I don't like in this picture I usually just go into the smooth or the whiten um, but this is not an up close picture so I don't need to do any like smoothing, but I do whiten some stuff that kind of bother me that need to be white. So like maybe I'll 
like these plants and this wall and just anything that is gray and kind of color white so that it matches a little bit better so i like that a little bit better so i'm just going to save that again and then after that i go into my preview app which is also free and i just upload my pictures to see if it matches with my feed see this this last picture that i posted the selfie in the mirror is what i want my feed more to look like more natural so um, then I added in these pictures. I did this one, this one, this one, and this one. And I think the next, I'm gonna do another three blocker. So it's the same picture because it's it'll be separating my feed. Um, I wanted to be separating my feed filter and presets, so it gives more of a cohesive look. And it, there's like definite differences in my edit. So these, all these pictures are pretty like edited, and so I want to kind of stray away from that, and make it more natural looking. So um, now I'm gonna go for more these type colorful more natural filters so I think I'm gonna do this and then now I'm gonna show you how I can how I'm gonna caption these so I, I usually post a picture when I post a YouTube video just for promotion things so in this caption th these are the pictures that I'll be posting tomorrow with this video by the way and um, as you can see this one's very playful and then this one's just showing my outfit with my mask on the floor so I'll probably make a joke about that in my caption. A lot of the times for my captions, I just look up stuff on TikTok or something like that, make the first sentence like very, or on Pinterest usually, I'll do like a like a self-care tip or intentional tip. So this is what my Pinterest looks like if you wanna go follow me on there. I kind of like this one because I've been posting on TikTok about like toxic people and leaving toxic people. So I'm gonna do this one. Life is Life is, ab is about, is not about, good job mommy grammar, it's so embarrassing. It's not about who you once were, it's about who you are now and who you have the potential to become. And I'll probably do like a cheesy heart right here and then I'll go down one and I'll be like, it's time to start living your life to your potential. Okay, I like that. So now I'm gonna do, I have a caption already, so this is perfect. I love this. So my my theme in my um, niche is kind of like self-improvement, self-growth, stuff like that. So now I'm gonna find some hashtags. The best thing that, you, that I would recommend for hashtags is going on to accounts that are like yours, like um, in your niche and in, or like in potential niches that you want to be and always use 30 hashtags and most of your hashtags should be around 300,000 to 800,000 posts and stray away from like overused ones or like it's just hashtags are what you're gonna get what's gonna get you on the explore page and get people to more look at your stuff so you gotta make sure you're using ones that are actually helpful and not using reusing the same ones over and over again because those people that you'll be reaching to in those hashtags will keep seeing your it's not you're not getting new impressions you'll be getting the same impressions the most important thing to your content to all content across all platforms is making sure you add value yeah that's why i like doing self-growth and self-improvement it's natural to me to help people in that way so whatever which whichever way you feel like you can help people most is what's going to get you to get there so i'm going to schedule this post to tuesday at 9 a.m which is when i post my video and then confirm i'm going to go do some hashtag research real quick so let's go into instagram and i have some hashtags already saved i'm not gonna lie hashtag searching is the <laughs> So boring. Like this account is pretty cool. So I'm just gonna go into their hashtags and look at what they got and see if any of them are pretty helpful. Mirror selfie. So I like doing this on my laptop because you can actually go in and copy and paste the same hashtags. Actually, I wanna follow this account. these have way too many so i'm not gonna use these so what i'm gonna do is oh this one's good where's the day cool self-improvement 
growth tips, self growth tips. I'm write this down. See, as you're scrolling on Instagram throughout the day, you can like literally write these down in your note. Self growth with the emoji. Self improve. So, so we'll just scroll down through these. See if we can catch a couple. Daily affirmations. Oh, that one's good. See, within the same genre. Anyways, so now that we have our hashtags, I can go back into here and we're gonna do this hashtag thing. I don't usually put my hashtags in the caption. I put it later on, so I'm just gonna, I would put this in later as a comment under my picture so that um, people don't see that in my uh, caption little thing because I feel like it's a little intimidating and people feel like you're like trying to sell to them something. I, I feel like it's more genuine if I can do it in my captions where no one can see it. Don't you feel me? I ain't overly sad. I said there's no time for shit man. I ain't overly sad. Hey, I know you heard it because I said it with purpose and you know that I know you feel so good. I know that it's worth it to be the smoothest I can be. Although you've heard it before, I know you cannot ignore the feeling of it for free. I just want to slow things down. Um, so this is what my caption is looking like in my hashtags and then I literally just have it scheduled tomorrow and it should be up tomorrow and as for that I make sure to all of your social medias work kind of like a funnel and for YouTube, TikTok, everything this is the funnel and at the top here is the impressions and then basically the, as you go down the funnel the less people make it to your account or do the next step so see your post and then actually click on your post, actually like your post, actually comment on your post, and then actually go to your profile and actually click on your links. So that's kind of how that works. And so like, as you go down the less people, so that's why at the top you want the most amount of impressions because the more impressions you have, the more lower down as you have. And also if you, you can improve your rates in between like going down, if you have some incentives, I can talk about that in another video if you guys want to, but um, if we're starting at the top, make sure you're always posting on your stories about, hey, I have this no new post, go check it out or on TikTok or you can also um do it on your snapchat too i have a lot of friends on snapchat so i like to post my stuff on there because like a lot of my friends actually go and look at my stuff so you can also use that you can like just utilize all of your platforms and it really does work so that's why i post at the same time as my youtube channel goes up because on my youtube i can actually use that as a motivator to go with my instagram so if this video is going up at the exact same time as my instagram picture so after you're done watching this video go ahead and look at that Instagram post and you'll see I have literally done everything as I said in this video and that's it basically for this video I have nothing left please subscribe for more content like this and if you have any questions please leave them down below I always answer all of the comments and I love your guys' feedback and you guys talking to me I'm open for a conversation go ahead and hit me up on my Instagram DMs or on my TikTok or on my uh, YouTube I will be happy to respond and as for anything else please like this video if you like this kind of content and also subscribe for more stuff like this i post college videos i post college vlogs and i post helpful self-improvement videos like this so definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next video bye